Ready for another question, Rory? Yes. Okay, let's see what we've got. Hey, Rory, this is Madison Boisar from GCU Women's Golf. Uh, so my question is, what is your favorite drill that you do to help you get better in your game, whether it's for putting, for short game, or for your full swing? Thank you so much. Hope to hear from you soon. So what would be, for Madison, what would be a favorite drill Rory McIlroy uses with his driver? Yeah, so a good drill that I like to do with my driver, um, and with every club actually, is this split-handed drill for me is something that is a... It's a really nice feeling of what I'm trying to do. It sort of gets the club in the right positions and every stage of the swing without really feeling like you're trying to get it there. So I, I love this feeling of, you know, I, you get the right hand under the, you know, the, the left hand's on top, the right hand's underneath, and it gets, it gets everything in a really good position. I feel like it gets your right arm in a great position so that when you turn to the top and you turn back down into, I feel like that's a really, for me, that's a really good feeling of getting to the top of the backswing and then down into delivery and just gets you in a great position. And it's a great feeling to then go ahead and try to replicate that when you hit a driver. What, uh, what do you have to watch out for when you, when you feel the need to do that drill? What are you watching out for? What's, what's trying to creep into your swing? So for me, what's, there's a couple of great things about it. So when I go to the top, I feel like my right arm is in a great position my right elbow and right arm doesn't get behind me so much. So I, I love the feeling at the top and then on the way down, it, the, my right elbow is staying in front of my body the entire time. It's not, sometimes what happens is I'll get to the top and it'll, it'll, it'll get trapped behind me. And then from there you hit this big push out to the right or you can flip it and hit a hook. So. Well, let's, let's see you hit one with that thought. And then yeah. I want to just dig a little bit deep with that wonderful yeah. drill. So if I set up, and I do this and just have that feeling and then go ahead. And you would do that what sort of one, two, three times? Would you have a precise number of times or just no, it not, feels right? No, not particularly, just a couple of feels. Yeah, maybe two or three times to get a feeling and then go ahead and hit one. But I'd also make sure to do a lot of them away from the ball. So I'll do a lot of these, a lot, I think drills work best when, especially full swing drills, if you're just trying to feel the movement that you're trying to create, it doesn't need to be with a ball in front of you any time, or every time. It can be, it can be something where, even if it's a takeaway drill or something, there's another one I like to do where, like if I'm in the gym, I'll get a, like a, a towel and I'll, I'll try to squeeze the towel in opposite directions to get, to get the right feeling of where, again, where I want the takeaway to be and where I want the right arm to go to at the top of the swing, that's another one. But that's, that's just feelings and repetition of, of you know, what you're trying to do once you get out to the range to hit some balls. And with, with a drill like that, would that be just a one time, one afternoon you do that drill, or would that be ongoing That times? would be every day. If it's something that re you feel is really important in your golf swing, you try to do that as much as you can. I think drills are incredibly important in the golf swing um, and drills like not even not even hitting a golf ball and sometimes not even holding a golf club you know some drills of just trying to train a, the movement that you're that you're trying to make um, and getting a feeling of that and doing it with certain you know it could be with a different it could be with a tennis racket to, to, to sort of have an awareness of face control or there could be all sorts of different stuff but drills are really important I, I always would encourage people to, to so get away from hitting a bunch of balls and just going and doing a drill a hundred times to get a feeling of what you're trying to do and then go back and try to hit some balls after that. Let's just walk you through that one more time, just the way you do that with put a ball on that tee yep. and we'll, uh, we'll go through the process that you would use to hit the golf ball yep. for Madison. So you get here. So you step to the side of the ball, yep. find the grip. Up to the top down into delivery and then you can go on past that and go through impact but for me it's that to the top of the swing to delivery and then through that's something to me that really is a, is a great feeling I do that two or three times and then I set up to it and I try to replicate that feeling with with the shot 
And would most of your drills be things that you do over a longish period of time, sort of a, a catalogue, probably not that many, but a, a list of Rory's favourite drills over a period of time? I've got a curiosity question because everybody wants to know if they can play a little more like Rory McIlroy. Do you write things down? Have you written things down over your learning experience and do you go back and look at them? Yeah, so I, I, wrote, I, I write a lot of things down and actually last week I was writing some things down and I was going back through some entries I've had over the last couple of years and some of the things I wrote down last week were things that I'd sort of forgotten about but I'd wrote down in December 2018. So it just, you go back through these things, you're like, oh, and it's funny, I actually sent a picture of this sort of little note that I wrote to myself in 18 and then another picture of the note I wrote to myself last week and sent them both to my caddy Harry and I said, see any similarities in these two? Isn't so it's, it's almost like with the golf swing, sometimes you're still trying to do the same thing, but the feelings change or something changes where, okay, I used to, I used to feel like it was, you know, the back of my left hand would go straight back. And now it's something where I feel like I, I, I sort of put downward pressure on the grip to get it to go up. You know, there's loads of different little things that can change throughout your, your golfing career, but in essence, I feel like all those little things, you're still trying to achieve the same objective. I, I think that's so fascinating. I appreciate your openness, no doubt about it. So the Rory story there, he does write things down. And he, when, when did you first start writing things down? Uh, Michael Bannon encouraged me to write things down after every lesson I took from him. So from a, from a very early age, probably from the, you know, before I was a teenager, probably. Yeah. And we, we should all be doing that. Madison, I hope those thoughts help you. I'm sure they will. Thanks for sending in your questions.